Greetings to all. My name's Annie, and it's an honor to have you here with me today. This phase in time, dear friends, will be known as the Era of Divine Transfer. God, in His infinite wisdom, will reveal the malevolent acts perpetrated against God's children and will liberate them from the clutches of evil. Their tormentors will face the swift hand of divine justice, and it will be they who find themselves imprisoned. Those unscrupulous financial moguls who've seized from you and enacted self-serving laws that have filled their pockets while depriving you will be exposed. God, in His great benevolence, will compensate for your deprivation and struggle with His copious blessings. He will rectify the Church's spiritual sterility with the lively, joyous presence of His Spirit among you. Where arts and entertainment have spiraled into idolatry and corruption, God will incite a revolution of Spirit-led creativity that will uplift humanity and glorify His name. He will replace the deceit of mainstream media with a resurgence of truth-seekers who will refresh the airwaves with the invigorating breeze of honesty. A divine transfer will occur within discordant families who will find unity in the truth and love of God. In places where your health has been intentionally compromised, God will bring healing and safeguard you against malevolent schemes. The Holy Spirit led me to Isaiah 26, 8 and verse 9 stating, For when your judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world learn righteousness. As God makes known to you promises of undeniable certainty, fortified by the enduring power of His faithfulness, He extends to you an invitation, a plea, a call to invoke the tangible evidence of His prophecies. God invites you to stand firm against the wrongdoers, encourage the attendance of just and moral arbiters in your trials. Implore Him, beseech Him to utilize His divine authority to dispel corrupt judges and leaders who succumb to deceit and compromise. Let us unite in a single harmonious outcry against the deceitful whispers of the Leviathan, forever silencing its falsehoods. Express the desire for His promises of healing to be made real. May they take form in your bodies, within your kinfolk, across your nations. Your God is encouraging you to be brave, to confidently anticipate the realization of His promises. Your audacity and faith won't offend Him. Instead, it will bring immense joy to His heart as He hears your clear call for the confirmation of His words. Do not misinterpret this as a stubborn demand. It is a plea, a longing for the revelation of His kindness as your dedicated Father. This brand of courageous faith can break through the barriers of enemy opposition, heralding the influx of His blessings. Trust in Him, and you shall see that He is a God of unwavering reliability, omnipotent and generous. God seeks your active participation in this divine endeavor. He is urging you to call upon Him, to summon Him into action. On this day, He appeals to your strength, your courage, and your boldness. These upcoming weeks are a call to arms, an entreaty for you to claim your destined roles. Should the darkness grow denser, know that He is filling you with an even greater brilliance, a potency unmatched. Do not retreat, do not cower in the face of their coercion. Rise against your adversaries, clothed in His luminescent armor and radiating His divine glory. Imagine this, a confident individual fearlessly standing against a malicious tormentor, using nothing but the truth and righteousness of his word as their shield. As they bravely face their foe, they prod him with firm resolution, driving him backwards until he is finally forced to flee. Thus says your father, confront the gloom with the radiance of his truth. Speak against the darkness, unravel their lies, and let the divine light dismantle their insidious web of deception and schemes. The power of His word shall expose and obliterate them. Stand firm, command the forces of darkness to retreat from God's sacred realm. The victory has already been secured, and it is yours to claim. Embrace this truth, carry His promises as triumphant banners into your battles. The book of Isaiah, chapter 28, verses 5 and 6, announces, On that glorious day, I, the Lord Yahweh, the commander of celestial armies, will be a radiant crown of glory, a splendid diadem for the remnants of His people. I will embody justice for judges, 
instilling in them the ability to deliver just decisions, and I will be a source of valor for those who stave off the assaults at the gates. Embrace this role. You are the frontliners, the warriors tasked to repel the siege at the gates. On this day, let wisdom and understanding be your allies. God yearns for his children to inhabit his kingdom. As he cleanses his church of these impurities, he intends to instill wisdom and discernment. The essence of the life his son sacrificed himself to gift the church will be unraveled, and he shall impart profound insight into how to navigate his realms of liberty and power. Many of his chosen ones are already treading this path, having tasted the might of the age to come. You have submitted to him and have sought to witness his power and splendor in all its grandeur. As we progress beyond the subjugation of the shadows, a deed in which you have played a key role, you will reap rewards in deeper spiritual experiences, bolstered by expanded wisdom and understanding. This, in turn, will elevate you to leadership roles within the sphere of influence he has earmarked for you. Isaiah 28 verse 21 offers us such an instance where the Lord Yahweh suddenly emerges, akin to his emergence on Mount Gerizim, an epithet that embodies the concept of breakthrough. The narrative of this divine breakthrough unfurls in the second book of Samuel chapter 5 verse 20. Further, we encounter another divine rescue in the Valley of Gibeon, chronicled in Joshua chapter 10 verses 8 through 14. These two monumental rescues, handpicked by the Lord himself, are referenced in the aforementioned verse in Isaiah. The verse then takes an intriguing turn, outlining how God arises to execute his unconventional work, his enigmatic task of judgment. The text here delivers a powerful message, Justice will be the measure, and integrity its calibration. A hailstorm of divine retribution will obliterate the refuge of lies, while floodwaters of truth will inundate their sanctuaries. A warning is given to the wicked. When the wave of divine judgment crashes over you, it will sweep you away. As surely as the day follows night, it will carry you away. The true understanding of this message will bring nothing but dread to the wicked, the wicked will be overwhelmed with terror when faced with the fear of the Lord. God has extended us an invitation to bring forth tangible testimonies of his promises. Be bold, be strong, be courageous. Parade God's promises as our battle standards, emblems of victory and triumph as we march into the fray. Victory is ours. We're charged with the sacred duty of releasing the heavenly hosts to fulfill God's grand design, ensuring their angelic guard stands watch over the innocent, shielding them from harm. Do not wilt in the face of God's majestic display of power on earth. Stand by his side. We are not to be fragile reeds swaying in the wind. We are mighty oaks, deeply rooted in our faith, standing tall against adversity. In the grand journey of life, we're summoned to triumph, to prevail over challenges that stand between us and our divine purpose. Indeed, such a calling can stir a wellspring of courage within us. Reflect on this for a moment. Addictive behaviors act as constraints on our free will. This gift of choice, so generously given to us by our Heavenly Father, is hijacked by addiction, reducing us to mere spectators in our own lives. We yearn for emancipation, for the liberation of our will and the blessing of a conscience washed clean. In such a state of freedom, we become vessels of immense power. But let's delve a little deeper into the nature of addictive habits and the struggle for liberation. First and foremost, please understand this. Our Father does not regard you or me with contempt or disappointment because we've succumbed to addictive tendencies. He yearns for us to be free, his gaze focused on the beacon of potential that awaits us beyond these chains. Therefore, refrain from self-flagellation if you are yet to break free from these clutches. Here's a profound truth to anchor your heart. God is not merely seeking to alter our behavior, but to liberate our hearts. The deepest aspiration of His infinite love is always our heart's freedom. Hence, there could be unresolved issues within your heart that require healing. These open wounds may serve as the enemy's anchor, hooking you back into the cycle of addiction and negative habits. Consider this. 
Your addiction could merely be an outward manifestation, a symptom of an unmet need or void in your life. Sometimes we might fall into sinful paths in a misguided quest to fulfill righteous needs, adopting unrighteous means. This perversion of our purpose is what defines sin. If we put our trust in God, letting His love and faith permeate our lives, we can find healing, meeting all the needs we yearn to fulfill. The Holy Spirit, in its divine wisdom, recognizes the parts of your heart that yearn for healing. Invite Him to unveil these spaces to you, and then summon the transformative healing power of Jesus into those areas. Ask for the Father's love to flood these spaces, effectively removing the very foundation upon which addiction has been built. Every time you find yourself grappling with the pull of addiction, request the Holy Spirit to provide solace. There's a part of you that yearns for comfort, and the Spirit eagerly anticipates providing this comfort. Allow His healing and peace to fill you, to fortify you in your pursuit of greater freedom. As we prepare to part ways, let's unite our spirits in prayer. Gracious Father, we express our deepest gratitude for your timeless wisdom, your dreams, visions, and the gentle reminders of your glory and love for us. You are our mighty champion, unfailing in your quest to fulfill all the promises you've made. We wish to serve as vessels that can be filled with your glory. We implore you to purify us, to address any lingering issues that need resolution. We approach you with courage, knowing you harbor no shame towards us, your only wish is for us to be free. Jesus, we are eternally grateful for your sacrifice and love, which remains a beacon of hope in our lives. Your teachings guide us towards kindness, compassion, and unconditional love, driving us to be better versions of ourselves. We surrender ourselves wholly, dear Lord, confident that you will mold us according to your divine plan. We pray for strength to weather the storms of life, armed with the armor of your word, secured by the truth of your promises. We humbly seek your guidance, asking you to light our paths, ensuring we don't falter or stray. We thank you for the freedom of grace, for the redemption you've granted us through your enduring love. Amen. Like the video and type Amen if you trust in the Lord. Click the link in the description to discover a limited time special offer on a life-altering technique designed to help you manifest God's blessings.